Guten Tag, Mercs. We are once again returning to the 5 to 8 rep mission video series. And strangely enough, this is the third video in the series, and we have yet to make it to any 5 to rep conflict zones. We found one while I was in this industrial hub getting my second assault mech, and this zone is 9 to 11. This zone is 2 to 4, and this one's 2 to 5s. I don't know where the middle ground is, but you'll remember last time we made it to halfway, where you can't connect to anything without going back through here. So then we decided to try this industrial hub, and we did, only to find this 9 to 11 nonsense. So, I say we go to the 2 to 5 one and hope that there's a 5 to 8 one over here. Let's try it. We're running awful low on money. I sure hope we can make it. That would cost 100,000. That's 150. Let's do that one, I suppose. I don't know why Steiner Space is so hard to navigate. Just be aware of this if you want to start your career in Steiner. Because, yeesh. I've just been having such a hard time finding the conflict zones I want to go to. Okay, star map time. Aha, we found a new one. 12 to 13. Now that's a little high for us. Why is this so difficult? Demo contract, maybe. War zone. That would be perfect. And there's a battlefield. <sighs> Battlegrounds. Different than battlefield somehow. That's 17. War zone 14. Do I have the money? No, I don't even have the money to get there. Let's do this battlefield because it's also on the edge and I might be able to find a spot that has these 5 to 8 contracts that I simply cannot find. There's a hero mech I certainly can't afford. 14, difficulty 15. Yeah, let's do this one. I never thought the most difficult part of this would be finding the 5 to 8 rep zone. That's so weird. Alright, first of all, star map. Have we found? Four to six, five to eight, we finally got it. Okay, let's do a mission here and make enough money that we will not die. And then we can go into that five to eight zone. We might even be able to salvage a map. Ooh, 160, we're cutting it real close. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Lovely, okay, whatever. Well, maybe I can sell this mech. Let's see what we got on the market. We have a flea that's mostly destroyed. You know what? This has SRM6 Inferno. I'll just take the awesome. I'll just take the awesome myself. And there's something else we should probably do. Maybe just fire this one. We don't need the expenses, and we're not going to have them. Oh, wow. I can't believe it was so hard to find a 5-8 to eight zone. Actually, one last thing is weapon groups. Uh, put that there. And SRM-6 and Inferno, which will hopefully overheat things. So much like the long tone artillery is silly overpowered, so are the Inferno SRMs. They should be on almost every back because they just overheat things so quickly. Oh, cool. Yet again, I start by getting hit by artillery. Good job. Good job, Rihanna. And let's take an artillery hit twice. Cool. Blow up whatever I can. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do third person view for a bit to try to, uh... Alright, there goes one. Good lord, this is insane. Okay. 
Alright, did I take it yet? Sure looks like it. And there's less artillery shooting at me. Wow. Good shot. This artillery is like right on every time. And let's walk through these artillery in case they decide to get ornery too. Okay. So I'm gonna start this mission with low armor because I got hit twice coming out of my dropship. Yeah, Irby, you can handle whoever's attacking us, right? Sorry, buddy, I need to focus on these. So, I played one mission where the artillery was so far off it was laughable. This is ridiculous. It's like right on where I'm walking almost every time. Okay. I think I took it down. There's nothing else there. Let's take out this silly javelin and then I can go kill that last artillery. Wow. Come on, buddy. Show yourself. And he's overheated after... What was that? Two volleys? So yeah, SRM Infernos are silly, silly overpowered, I think. So they make for some good... <laughs> some very good... Um, uh, style of play when you are when you're struggling against insane odds okay all right that hit him that hit him too hopefully he'll be shutting down soon come on buddy you know what I'm just gonna run towards this thing and blow it up on my own because I cannot believe it took that long to just find a level 5 to 8 rep zone. Does this commando have mask or something? It seems like faster than usual. Alright. With my back as thoroughly wrecked as it is now, starting this mission out great. Okay. You gonna show up? You gonna, you gonna come? So another strategy for dealing with artillery is to walk backwards because they'll always send the artillery in front of you. Another thing I like to do is to kind of do a little zigzag like this and they will uh, yeah, try to guess wherever you're pointing at the time. Nope. 
see, right in front of me. Can I hit this thing yet? No, it's behind a rock. Okay. Scopes are lighting up with additional bogies, Commander. Okay, well that one was right where I am. Okay. Finally done with those fools. Jeez. So I took a risk with the last mission, hoping, just hoping against hope that I would make it to that five to eight rep conflict zone by going to an industrial hub that I didn't know, and boy did I fail. The good news is cooling on this thing seems to be great, and before attacking any mechs, we're going to get close and try to um, hit him with the Inferno so that we shut him down and we don't take damage. This is actually quite the fun mech to play too. Uh, Jenner, I think the enforcers whose attention we want. Come on, buddy. Okay, hit it a little bit. There we go. Should be shutting down any moment. And he, we got shut down. You can see the fire from the infernos on it. And he's shut down too. Nice. Okay, four more, no problem. Honestly, it was the artillery that was the only terrible things. I can't believe PGI lets you get hit in the dropship by artillery. I don't know if that's an oversight or like some kind of game design, but it just feels very unfair, especially when you pilot a light mech and you start out getting your arms ripped off by artillery, like in a locust or a spider or something. I don't think I hit him. All right, well, that spider's not much of a challenge anyway. This guy can be, though. Oop, man, I'm taking a lot of damage. Got him. Okay, one last guy. Just have to not get hit from behind and we're good. Got him. Okay. Let's get out of here. Well, that was unnecessarily stressful for supposedly an easy mission. Fortunately, we're making four million off of it, which should be just about enough to buy a mech in one mission. And we might want a medium, I guess, or a light, because in the five to eight rep zone, the weight limit is usually around 230 or so, 230 to 270. But I hope I demonstrated the value of both SRM Infernos and Long Tons. Oh, hey. Our ally survived. <laughs> With no weapons. Okay. That's it. Oh, and we got nine salvage shares. 
uh, nothing I really want. Grab that, I guess. And I'll just take the javelin and sell it. Nothing special. Cool. That's fine. Let's see. Mm, I don't think that's worth our time. Okay, I don't know why I thought I was making four million, because I'm clearly not. So, we want to make our way here. Um, maybe we should do one more mission on the way. We'll do this battleground, and then finally go here. Or, sh you know what? Let's just... Let's just jump into this zone and see what we can do. I'm kind of tired of... Uh... <laughs> Oh, well, waiting. So the big difference you'll notice between the 3 to 5 and the 5 to 8 is that in the higher tier difficulty 5 to 8 areas, we're going to be fighting pretty much all mediums, heavies, and some assaults. And in the lower tier 5 to 8, it's going to be mediums and heavies. So what do we got here? Oh, another beachhead. Difficulty 45. Rescue contract, difficulty 29. Let's do that before we rush into something even harder. Weight limit is 200, so that's perfect for our two assault max. And we still have our one crappy pilot that we have not been able to replace because everyone in the inner sphere seems to be a bad pilot so far. Is anybody? Nobody. And we're just going to sell this. Yeah, for the money. Okay. So let me just show you the build for the awesome because it was very effective as you can see. SRM-6, SRM-6 Inferno, two large lasers, medium laser, bunch of heat sinks and three SRM ammos. Okay. Let's go to contracts. Got this level 29 rescue. Still, we're gonna try to save up some money, but salvage shares mean we can start getting mechs. I'll go Banshee. Go awesome. And let's roll. I honestly hope we don't have any artillery in these. I don't think the rescue missions have artillery, but rescue missions are really fun, even though they're a bit time consuming. How to have a nice three mech lance of two assaults and one light, or just two assaults, and how that's actually better than an assault and two mediums. Okay. Gotta make sure all those blue shields make it to the yellow star. The blue shields are tanks. Let's do it. And I'm targeting them to see if any of them are taking damage. Turn on my light. I can walk through this to blow it up. Yeah. Cool. I should probably head straight to the base. Enemies will show up any minute. I'm actually going to walk through some of these because it'll decrease the odds of the tanks getting stuck on the scenery. That's a cool looking tank. PC, SRM, LRM, and medium laser. Good job. Oh, we got some other fighting going on down here. Ooh. 
need to be careful and make sure I don't blow up my own tanks when I do that. A word of advice, don't ever give your artillery max to an AI because they will shoot at an enemy that's right by you. I tried turning off friendly fire and loading out all of my max with artillery and it was it doesn't make a difference because the splash damage still will hit you. So have only one mech with artillery. It's just the way to go. Taking some damage there. That's bad. I hope it wasn't for my ally walking through it or my lance mate walking through it. Okay, buddy. Oh, nice job. I didn't even have to do anything. Oh, that quick draw just about got wrecked by my artillery. Alright. No, no, no. Just don't blow him up. Let him eject. Ah. He lost all ability to shoot. So I was kind of hoping that we could salvage that, but probably not. Haha, <laughs> so that's what the artillery does to mediums. It's basically a two hit kill. Ah, uh, he started with the jump jets. Okay. You know what? He doesn't really. He can't do anything now. Oh, I'll take this. Miss. Wow, there's a lot of a lot of enemies back here. What else we got? Force. There we go. Most of his weapons have been knocked out. And that's a Griffin. I should really try to focus on just killing one. Griffin must have heavier armor. Got him. Got him. Worth the shutdown. Okay. The Shadowhawk. Why is he even still trying to fight? I'm not even, I don't even need to shoot at this guy to end him. And this Vindicator, same thing. Okay, still only about halfway to the base, but most of the convoys made it. And they're extracting survivors, so that's good. That vision's not too bad. So far, this has not been too difficult. have to find out whoever's looks like the damage to the base has stopped so I'm guessing whatever was attacking it was blown up by the convoy itself which is fantastic oh what do we got what do we got I don't know wow. Ooh, let's make sure I don't block on it Ooh. 
two hit kill, not bad for medium. Do I still have my light on? There we go. So this is another great thing for the yet another mech lab mod, which are is a headlight, because the night vision kinda sucks. Alright, a Wolverine. Wolverines are good, and I would love to leg this one and salvage it if possible. Where are you? Uh, attack what now? That. Tracking your target. Mm -hmm. Where are you, Wolverine? I might be able to leg him. <laughs> oh, just eject, just eject. Yep, get out of there. Yes! Alright, we might actually be able to salvage that. <laughs> uh, there's some strong walls. You, uh, landed on the base there, bro. Alright. Can do. So I've actually never seen the dropship get destroyed. I don't even know if it's possible because most dropships don't seem to take damage. But we'll do our best. You know? I'm still shooting at the base. Please stop. Hey. All right. Well, this mission's been a piece of cake so far. I know things can change in the last two minutes. I think we're ready to take on a much higher difficulty mission. So bad. So things will get a little bit more hectic when you're fighting heavies and assaults because uh, you have to be shooting that long tom a lot more. And I don't even know if I like it as much for the assaults and heavies but it is just so effective. I kind of want to switch to some auto cannons or something. Anything gonna happen in the last 50 seconds? Sure don't seem like it. Hit him. I think I might have. Oh, where'd he go? There you go. Oh, I did hit him. <laughs> you guys should probably try a little serpentine or bob and weave or something. Ouch. That was in this. Ah, well, saved by the bell, boys. Okay, about two million. 
tier 3 auto cannon 10 burst fire, and a tier 3 flamer, not bad. We also can salvage a griffin that's almost totally destroyed. Why not? Yeah, sure. And don't take that. We're good. Okay. Contracts. First of all, let's repair. And the Griffin was 55, which I think is a little bit more than we can handle in this little zone. Okay, we've got an attack and defend and yet another beachhead. Um, should we do that beachhead? This is 12 to 13. This is 6 to 9. That actually is pretty good for us. Why don't we go here? We'll stop at Graceland. Yet another weird Steiner navigation thing. And then we'll take a 6 to 9 level because that's close enough to 5 to 8. Yeah, I don't really want to do another beachhead we'll have to run around all over the place and get hit by artillery before we're even out of the dropship. I think I'll do one more mission to demonstrate what I'm capable of with these mechs, and then the video series will finally be concluded. So if there's anything good. Uh, it'd be cool to find something useful. Alright, so let's look now. We've got attack and defend, recon, rescue, got another rescue, demo, hmm, patrol, duel, duel level 36. I could probably do something tougher. Multiple mission, no thanks. Attack and defend are tough, though, is the problem. So this goes up to difficulty 48. These ones, the difficulty seems to max out at about 45. And that's the main difference. Recon, no thanks. Rescue, yet another rescue. I could do a demo contract, I guess. Yeah, we could do that, level 37. The rescue is 270, which means I could afford three max. Let's see, if I want to repair this, I can't repair the engine, which means it will be useless. Yeah, I guess I could put in a 275 engine if I want to spend 2 million. And then, oh, it's, it had double heat sinks before I utterly destroyed it. <laughs> Hmm. Do I want to spend two million? Let's see if there's any industrial hubs. There is one here. I could fly to. You know what? Let's do it. Go to an industrial hub, build up that Griffin, and then go do a high level mission. And hopefully that will demonstrate to you how to do these five to eight, or in this case, six to nine rep missions. Um, when I wasn't recording, I tried a 9 to 11, and it was difficult. Uh, I still don't have any good pilots available, and I'm going to need a new pilot if I load this thing out. Okay. Still no 275. We could do this engine. Save some space. That's a good Mac. Or it was a good Mac. Let's see how much it would cost. Or let's not. Actually, let's just look at the map market. <laughs> grasshopper. So if I sell that, can I just buy a blackjack or a grasshopper? I think I can. All I need is a medium laser. That might be worth it. Okay, let's see. Sells for two million. Grasshopper is about six. Ooh, I would be broke once again. What if I repaired it? Wow. So much destroyed here. Hmm. 
SR12 Inferno, sure. I'll buy another SR12 Inferno. Where, where'd it go? Oh, there was only one available. <laughs> uh, never mind. I think I'm just gonna sell this guy. And we are going to now go to the star map and just do a mission. Let's do this demo. Mission 230, that's fine. I don't even think we need a third mech, as nice as it would be to have. Okay. <laughs> Yet another rescue, huh? And the rescue pays more. Well, we're doing the rescue. Alright. Three million. Now we'll definitely be able to buy a Mac after that. Let's go. Okay, so this is a mid-40s level mission, which means it's at least difficulty 8 or even 9. So we're going to see how these two assault mechs hold up. And if we do, we're do, we doing okay at the end of this mission, then I'd say that I've demonstrated that this strategy of rushing towards assault mechs and then using the Inferno SRMs and Long Toms is very effective at beating those difficult, moderate level missions. Sorry that it's been like almost three hours of videos to get here, but it's a little more complicated with mods. And something you're gonna wanna consider for yourself, whoa, is um, switching away from the long tom later game so that you can start legging enemies and not coring them or cockpitting them so that you can salvage their XL engines and double heatsink engines, as well as just making it way cheaper to salvage them. Shot. Nope, no one's getting shot so far. Looks like the enemies may not have spawned. I could probably hit that thing with the long tom if I wanted. Got him. Unfortunately, we've lost a convoy unit already somehow. Was that? I guess the Igor must have done it. Or maybe it's that one landing. Manticore heavy tanks are so cool. I really wish in future mech games we could focus on doing some more combined arm stuff. It'd be cool to be able to like hire tank groups and even infantry or like set traps and stuff for your enemies. It's cool and it's been a staple of the game to have just like mostly mech on mech battles, but I'd like to see something a little more combined forces, combined arms, you know? Someone's attacking that straggler back there. And no one's attacking the base yet. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Let's try not to hit you. Black spotted. It's a big one. 
No, it's not. That was an accident. Didn't mean to launch the long tom first thing. Alright, looks like we gave him an ammo explosion to think about. Alright, you gonna give up or are you gonna keep running around? This guy still has some weapons. This champion does too. Don't worry, that won't last. Got him. So two hits and a heavy is down. Let's see how this quick... Oh, Wolvie's back. Surprised he wanted to get in the fight. Ooh. I think I managed to sweep the cockpit. I took him down. Buddy, why are you in this still? Uh, excellent lucky shot. <laughs> After all that, I managed to cockpit him. Oh, hey. Not for long, you're not. Yeah, you want to try to take some cover, pal? Come on. I can't shoot because of that annoying ridge in the way. There it goes. One more ought to do it. He's shooting at me with the missiles. That's curious. Okay, done. I don't think he managed to eject. Alright. Oh, Can't do this while he's flying. The catapult must have been whoever shot the missiles at me. Let's just get to the base. Those two convoy units that seem to be stuck on the rocks are just going to have to deal with it. So I can't do anything about them. In your footsteps. So far, this is not super challenging. Okay, buddy. Yeah, I know you're going to be standing right in front of me the whole time. And I can't shoot now because they're too close. That was... Oh, and that was a miss. What do we have here? Really, bud? It was like eight lasers that thing took or more. Hey, buddy, I need you to get out of harm's way because you're getting rocked. <sighs> buddy. Wow. And this is the biggest problem that we have right now, is our pilots suck. <laughs> and I've yet to be able to find anyone better. Once again, between the legs. There we go. Things are about to get a lot worse. Target is done. Oh, wow, look at him curving those. That was cool. Done. Please don't land on me. He landed on me. Okay. We're going to have to make sure we don't lose this convoy. Okay. 
And we've got an assault mech on our tail. Okay, cool. Wait. Looks like the convoy has managed to fight off the, um... What? Did I just hit... What What the heck just happened there? Okay, don't worry, he shut down the Battlemaster, which is great. Looks like... Okay, he's ejected, cool. I don't know how I missed so badly. Okay. Dropship time. We got the other mechs over there. This one's been a lot closer than the last one. But, but I think we're still going to take this. minutes well we took a beating but we have succeeded buddy you're getting wrecked I don't even need to shoot you <laughs> you to stand right in front of that thing so that you don't get your uh, back blown out again. And I'm going to get on this hill where I can shoot my artillery more effectively. Haha. <laughs> Did you? Oh, we got quite a few mechs coming in. Hmm, we got an assault over there. Let's see if we'll even make it. That javelin will not die. Yeah, I don't think this guy stands much of a chance. Victor, you've got a minute to show yourself for me to kill you. <laughs> My enforcer won't get anywhere within range that matters. Where's that Victor? Victor, come on. Got no weapons left. And he did. That thing got scrapped. That <laughs> did a lot of damage to the base, my bad. Mission complete. Alright, finally, after two and a half some hours of gameplay, we have found a appropriately leveled mission and beaten it. So, I hope you've now seen how to properly do level 5 to 8 rep missions in modded MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. Oh wow, look at all our salvage. <laughs> Another assassin. Do we have anything that still has a core that I can salvage? Nope. I'll take an engine because it's worth 2 million. And a PBC and we're good. Okay. Total damages, 310,000. Payout, 3 plus million. So we made more than 10 times our costs. And we also have more than enough money to buy a new mech. 
Anyway, I hope that this has demonstrated to you a pretty effective, if time-consuming, strategy of beating the kind of difficult early hump that you get when you start running into those five to eight and obviously six to nine level missions. Also, I hope I've given someone some help on how to navigate this mess that we call Steiner Space. Thanks for watching.